Wow, what a shit show. Has Arteta done everything he can with this current crop of clowns at Arsenal Football Club? Has he hit his ceiling? Is he out of his depth? Who do we bring in next? One thing's for sure, Kroenke out. Yo people, it's TWG, the Jim Guna. And wow, where do I start? What has happened to my Arsenal? This is the lowest I've ever felt as an Arsenal fan in my life. Listen, I'll come on to Arteta later in the video, but who do these players think they are? This current squad is the worst I've ever known. Worse than squads with Chamak, Jovino, Squilacci. These players are not fit to wear the shirt. I'm not even going to sit here and talk about passion, heart, desire. I will mention pride, professional pride. Listen, forget Arteta, even forget Arsenal for a second. As a professional footballer, do you not have the pride to win every game, to be in a final, to play in the Champions League, to compete against the best? Of course not, because if you did, you would have put everything you had, blood, sweat and tears, and made it happen. Listen, I've said too many times throughout this season, there's too many players at this club that are not good enough and need to go. But I'm going to wait until the end of the season to make a full video about that. You'll enjoy it, trust me. As for the semi-final itself, I cannot remember a more underwhelming and forgettable semi-final in history. And with that said, I'm not going to waste my breath, my time or your time talking about it. Now what can I say about Mikel Arteta? All of you who have watched my videos will know I've supported him 100. But honestly, I really don't know what to say right now. Has he done all that he can? Has he hit his ceiling? Does he deserve another season? It's a real crossroads at Arsenal right now. Do we back him in the summer and let him get his players and see what he can do, at least up until Christmas? Or do we cut ties, say thanks for the FA Cup, but it's time to go? I mean, personally, I'm torn between both options. Trying to look at this with a level head is difficult. Do we give him time, like Wenger got, like Fergie got, and more recently, like Klopp got? Don't forget, it got a lot worse for Liverpool before it got better. Then the main factor with that is he was backed. He got the plays he wanted to do what he wanted to do on the pitch. Fergie, Wenger and more recently Klopp were all managers who could have got the sack early in their careers, but they were backed and went on to do amazing things. That's the difference. They were backed. Alternatively, right now you've got to look at Chelsea. They had their biggest club legend in charge and they got rid of him just like that. They brought in a tactician, arguably one of the best young managers about. And they've gone from ninth to nearly securing a Champions League spot. Not to mention reaching a Champions League final. Tuchel has come in and transformed the team and saved Chelsea's season. But he's had the tools to do it. The players were already there. Even if a new manager did come in, he'd be left to use the same useless, spineless clowns that are currently at Arsenal Football Club. Ultimately, the current position of Arsenal Football Club comes from the top. The lack of ambition, the lack of investment, the failure of Arsenal Football Club right now is all on the Cronkies. And that's exactly why we've got to force them out. Cronky out. Until this takeover happens, until the Cronkies are out, Arsenal Football Club will be in the same position, in this downward spiral, season after season. A new manager will come in, he'll create a little buzz, will go on a little winning streak, but then the cracks will appear and then it will crumble just as it did for Emery, Jumberg, and now Arteta. And again, that's because none of them had the backing that they needed. And as well as that, they had the same crap crop of players that are still there. And that's because our owners do not invest. They are not bothered about our club. Listen, if the season wasn't done, it's now officially done. Arsenal need to make some very important decisions leading into a massive summer. What I will say about not reaching the final and potentially not being in Europe, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Liverpool did it and came back stronger. Chelsea did it and came back stronger. If Arsenal can use their time out of Europe effectively and efficiently to rebuild, we can be back at the top. That financial loss of not being in Europe may be what pushes Kroenke right out. Listen, right now, I don't even know what else to say. With that being a wrap for the season, I won't be doing any more previews or reactions to the Arsenal games. However, I will still be discussing Arsenal football topics, the transfer market, and I will have some special guests ready for you. So hit the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. To all Arsenal fans out there, stay strong.